everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And last week's project, uh, we created this gate from the wooden gate set and it was just so much fun and I've just been playing with it and I just, I wanted to take another week and show you another option. And actually, this is using the exact same sets that we used last week. So same sets, a few new stamps, but those stamps are in the same sets. So uh, it's fun to try new options. It's fun to be able to see all the things that you can do with what you have already. So one more week on this gate and I think you're gonna really like doing this project. Okay, so let's get going. We are going to need a few things. So same thing as last last week, we're going to use the gate, so the wooden gate set, and we're just gonna ink part of it. So just this section here, and actually we're not even going to ink the bottom. So really just this section in here. Uh, the little container set, we're gonna use the same one we used last week. From the bird set, we're gonna use several of these little birds. So the one, the right and left, this little guy in the middle, and this one here. So those birds, uh, the same twig, so from the branches set, we're gonna use this one. From flower set two, we're going to use this little uh, bundle of blooms and this long stem. And then in the uh, original flower set, the little daisy bunch and the vine and the tiny grass from the foliage set. Okay, so same, same, basically the same stamp, same sets we used last week, but I want you to see that there's lots of different things that you can do. Uh, okay, so let's get going. We're going to start out by inking that basic image and that is the gate. So we're going to ink that in the sepia and we're only going to ink part of it. So uh, not the arch, we're not gonna ink that part. So we're gonna just stop right here and we're gonna take off the bottom. So we wanna set those pots in front and so we wanna make sure we don't ink any of this section here. So just right under that first support bar on the gate, uh, we wanna take that off. And let's just stamp it uh, in the middle of the paper. Okay, so don't press too hard. We want just a really soft image, so not too heavy of lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our little pots in. And we're going to need the positioning tool, so we're gonna use the positioner on this. <clears throat> Make sure we get this in the right place. We're gonna put a whole row of these little pots and we're going to ink them in the sepia. So place that in the corner here. So just like this and we can uh, begin to place these. Leave enough space in between here so that you can get your uh, flowers and foliages in. So your grasses and vines and whatever you wanna put in these little pots. And just start out by stamping this. You can get a couple of impressions without re-inking. So I like that about it because it's quick. So just keep puffing on it. And you can see that's the, um, that's the second time. So let's do a couple more. Don't put all these just, you know, right in a straight line. So it kind of adds a little interest to break it up a little bit. So, you know, turn them a little bit or make them, you know, seem like they're, you know, one's in front of the other one. Uh, it just makes it more fun. Okay, so one more pot in here and we can put this one kind of over to the side. And that, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna hang one off of the side. So let's just do one more. And we're going to drop this one uh, down from a little hook. So that looks about right there. And let's just ink this one, just in case we don't have enough ink on here. And place that right into the center. And there we go. So we've got all of our pots in a row. So let's go ahead and uh, take the color out of the lines. And that is the next step. So every time we stamp a basic image, we've got to pull the color out of the lines. And that's really the fun part, because it's relaxing. Uh, the hard work is already done. You've got everything placed where you want it. And now you can just begin to create your little watercolor painting. So just keep pulling the color out of the line. It's gonna be pretty light. Make sure you leave that highlight on there. So we gotta see that these are little rounded pots and just so fun. I just, I love this gate and I love this idea that you can use the gate in multiple ways. It gives you more of a value for the stamps that you're buying. And I love that about it too. 
want you to feel like it's a value, like you're getting something for your money and you're gonna be able to do dozens and dozens and dozens of projects with these stamps. And now, you know, there's getting to be so many sets. There's so many options. Uh, my problem is always on Wednesdays, what of the 900 uh, things that I could possibly do, should I do? So that's always the dilemma, but it's kind of a fun dilemma to have. Okay, you can see where the lines are double here, that that's gonna, that's gonna be more uh, color. So underneath this bar of the fence, you know, that's gonna be darker. And you know, we're just, just beginning this process so we can uh, add more uh, color and detail to it later. Okay, so I'm just kind of running my brush down the middle of these little boards. Okay, let's go on to the next step. And let's put in our foliages and little flowers into these pots. And you can put uh, whatever you want in here. Um, really, the sky's the limit. There are so many options. Um, I'm gonna start out with this little set of blooms. And I'm gonna ink it in two colors. So the African Violet and the Violet, so the number eight. And I'm going to cover uh, one of my little pots with a post-it note just to make sure that I don't stamp over the top of that. And just get this in here a couple of times. So I've got my first one in there like that. And you could actually make these all the way across. That would be really cute too. Just do a whole row of these little blooms in all different colors. Uh, that would be really fun, or you can kind of mix it up. So now that you've got this in here, you wanna just tap it. So just, just dab. And kind of mix it up. You know, some of these little pots you can put um, blooms in, and some of them you can put foliages in, just to kind of make it a little different. So let's go on to the next one. Let's add some, uh, let's just add some grasses in here to this one. And we'll just add some water to that. Just like so. And let's go on to the next one. So how about if we use uh, the little vine and we just ink a few of these. So I'm using the number 72. Uh, that's what I'm using on, on the greens. So I'm using the same green. So just touch those little vines We've got this little pot done, and let's just, uh, let's do a little long stem here. So let's do this in two colors. How about our Prussian blue? And the number 72. And let's do, let's use that post-it note again, uh, just to make sure that we aren't stamping over the top of the pot. I wanna make sure we get this in here. And just stamp that in there a few times. So just like that. And then just kind of hit it with your brush. Soften these lines. So cute. And let's go ahead and add some uh, color now to those pots. And we can do that from our palette. So I've got some colors on here. I've got Prussian blue and 72 green. Uh, I've got some purple. So let's go ahead and start adding some color to these. And just kind of brush it on. You're gonna brush it on just like you pulled the color out of the lines. So start where it's the darkest. And just bring it over, bring that color over. Don't cross those lines. Make sure you stay in your sections. You can see these, these horizontal lines on the pot. Uh, you don't wanna ever cross that with your brush. And let's just do one little green one here. Uh, if you think it's getting too dark, just pinch your brush off and just blend this over to the center. You're, you're really just taking the color, most of the color and the, um, and the moisture off of your brush. So that will really blend out the color. The sides, you know, of these little pots are going to be the darkest. And that's, that's what makes them look rounded. That's what makes your, your image look like a, a watercolor painting is because these things look three-dimensional. 
So that's really the goal with everything that we do is to try to make things look three-dimensional. Okay, so let's just add a little bit of color to this one. We'll just make it really light, almost like a white. And we've got a really nice variety of color. Let's just do one more up here. And you can color these however you want to. You're just gonna add the color the same way every time. So from your palette, you brush that color on after you've stamped it in the sepia. You brush that color on. And then always keep that darker color on the side. And you can embellish these little pots if you want to. So we can, uh, we can do something decorative on them. So let's just do a little embellishment. And maybe some purple. On this one. And let's just do a little of this blue. Don't worry about this part of it. You know, this is just decorative, so you can do it or you can not. You know, maybe you just wanna leave it off and that's up to you. Okay, so we've got our little pots in, super cute. Uh, let's do our free hand. So the free hand is not scary. We're just going to do a line across the top of this pot with a little hook. So a little C and then bring that line straight over. So just like that. And then do a little, um, curved line right under it. And we've got a little hanger. See how easy that was? Super, super easy. So let's add some foliage into there. So let's use our vine again. And I'm just gonna turn my, my paper so that I can get a better angle here. And I'm gonna put some more of this vine on the outside. So just like that. That's just using the tip of that vine. So it's just, it's so versatile because you just use as much as you want to. And then you just kind of blend it out. So easy. Okay, let's continue with that vine and go up the side of this little gate. So I'm gonna use that green again. So this is the number 72. And I'm just gonna kind of climb this up around this gate. So stamping and adding water, that's the process. So easy. And you know, the more that you stamp these, those of you who have been doing this technique, the more you stamp these things, you know, the, the easier it gets. And you've probably stamped this vine and the grasses a million times. I mean, that's not an exaggeration. You've probably stamped them over and over again because they're just in so many projects. And you will begin to feel so much more comfortable doing it because you've done it over and over again. So it really is about practice. And yes, this is a really easy technique, but you will be amazed at how good you get uh, with a little practice because you get better and better at using these stamps and knowing how they feel and how they stamp. Okay, so we've got that in. So let's go ahead and finish up in here with this one. So we're gonna use our little, um, the little daisy. And we're going to ink that with the Prussian blue. So just a couple of these little blooms. And we'll just put a little about of this in here. That's all we need. These little containers are so small that it doesn't take much to fill them up. Okay, so let's add a little color now to the fence, and we can do that from our palette very lightly. And I'm just using a really light wash of the um, Prussian Blue. So just a little bit. You know, blend these colors together. It's so It's so easy to do that. Just if, especially if you start lightly, and just gradually add these colors. Uh, under this, 
under this support board. That's gonna, that's gonna be pretty dark under here. And then let's color in that little hinge and the little hook. Starting to shape up here. I love it. So let's pull some of this color out now from the post and from the gate. We're gonna stamp our little birds in here so we wanna get a little bit of a background. And you know, the more that you blend, you know, the, the softer it gets. So you can just keep dragging this color out. It's gonna give you a really, really nice uh, background to your little project. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our birds in. We can add as many in as we want to. That's the fun part. So we're gonna use a positioner because we for sure want to make sure we got these in the right place. So we're gonna ink them all in the sepia. And just stamp that in the corner and place, place them wherever we want to. And just, just tough on it. You just need to ink it one time. So let's just put another one of these little guys. Uh, let's just, let's do a different one. So here's another one facing the other way. So let's ink him. And just put him back in the corner. Let's stamp him down here. And let's just add another one of those up here. Won't ink it again this time. And if you lean him back a little bit, he'll it kind of changes his look. And let's just add one more here. How about this little guy? Let's put this little guy up on that on that little hook. So ink him. These are all inked in the sepia. So same color, same way. So let's put him over here. It's cute. And that looks good to me. You can add more birds if you want to, totally up to you. You can fill that whole gate with birds if you want to. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna do them all the same. We're gonna pull the color out of the lines. Uh, make sure to leave their faces light, as always. And then let's take that fine tip and we wanna really darken uh, their little eyes and their beaks. You really, really want to, to make sure that that's showing up. And let's add just a little bit of color to their wings. This is a, just a little more sepia from the palette. And then I've got some uh, of the number six brown on my palette. And so I'm gonna just color in their little chests. Little robins. You can make these birds whatever color you want to. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's just brush in a little sky and we are going to be about finished uh, with this project. Super easy. And you can see we used all the same stamps, so it's so fun to try different things. You know, even if you have just a few sets, uh, there's so many things that you can do. And if you just start thinking outside of the box, um, you'll, you'll be amazed at what you come up with. Just really fun. Everything is made to coordinate together, so everything should go together really well. So just add a little sky in here. Uh, make sure you keep that sky contained so that it doesn't go off your page. And we are going to be about finished 
with this little project. Let's add a little grass at the bottom, and I think that will be our last step. And we're just gonna tuck a little bit in between these pots. So just kinda, you're kinda just stamping it on top of itself uh, just two or three times. And then dip your brush and just kinda pull this up. and just, you can just drag it over to the side. Just so fun. And you know, back in here, this can be pretty dark in between these little pots. Make sure those corners are really, really dark. And I think we are about finished with our project, sign and date. That is the last step. And put it on a card or put it in a frame, but give it to someone. You are going to make their day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week.